Welcome everybody. Welcome to morning Zen Garden Qigong. I'm David. Welcome to my Zen Garden here in Gold River, California. Welcome to this special Qigong morning session for more energy. If you like this video, hit like and hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. Marilyn and I have more than 80 Qigong videos, including meditations and our newest version of the Shaolin Temple inspired Buddha Palm self healing. So check out all of our Buddha Palm videos, all of our meditations. We have a complete program for everything that you might want, and it's free. Marilyn and I do not make any money on YouTube via advertising or any other form. We are doing this because we are trying to touch you. We are trying to help you on your healing journey. So let's begin in Surrender Hands. Surrender Hands is a great way to begin your morning practice. I'm often asked, what's the first thing I do every morning when I wake up? Well, first thing I do is I look at the clock and see, is that a time that I want to get up or should I go back to bed, back to sleep? But when I've determined that it's a time to get up, this is what I do. I start in surrender hands, and then I plug into the four forces. So let's review plugging into the four forces. I have a great video, it's very short, five minutes or so about plugging into the four forces. This is the first thing I do when I get up every morning. Check into the energy of Earth, plug into it, plug into the energy of the universe, Yang, plug into the energy of nature in the third eye through the triangle fingers and we stretch out the triangle fingers, come down, take a nice deep breath, and then we open. We open the hands into lotus flower hand position at the lotus heart jewel, our emotional center right here, right at the sternum, pinky fingers pointed, and we ask a profound question. So in the morning when I wake up, my question is, how can I help people on their healing journey? So this morning, let's do that again. This morning we're gonna work with turbocharging our, our morning energy, our morning um, vibe. So earth, universe, nature, the mystery. Ask yourself a question, plant the seed that will germinate and blossom during your day. So today it's how can I get more energy for whatever kind of day that I am about to enter? Then we come again to surrender hands and notice how you feel. So this morning for this special uh, Qigong for more energy exercise, we're gonna do all, all of our exercises in the wide leg posture. So wide leg posture, feet are spread apart, Wide leg posture gives you a firm platform. It connects you on a deeper basis to the energy of yin, the earth. It also works with your balance. If you have balance issues, starting and doing this practice, this morning Qigong for more energy in the wide leg posture will give you more balance. It also opens up this area that we call the Kwa. The Kwa is a Chinese word spelled K-U-A. Roughly translated, it means energy leg gates. So it's the energy from Earth that's coming up through this area inside, the insides of the legs, and into the Kwa and into the torso. This includes all of uh, the meridians for the organs in our feet. Uh, the kidneys, the liver, the spleen and pancreas, 
So we're starting in a wide leg posture. We're gonna do our warm ups. Hands up by the face. This opens up the cervical spine. The breath is deep and normal. A little bit of a twisting action, a little bit of a weight shift. Really feel that opening in your groin area, in the quad. So nice and slow, nice deep breathing here. We want to keep the breath nasal, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, opening up the cervical spine here, the hands up by the face. And we transition to the thoracic spine, mid, mid chest. This opens up the area of the spine right behind the heart. Again, we're doing that weight shifting back and forth, nice and gentle. We never want to take any of our Qigong stretches into pain or discomfort. So if you're in a wide leg posture that doesn't feel right, you can, you can bring your legs in a little bit closer. The idea is we want to make that connection to the earth. We want to strengthen, turbocharge our energy for whatever awaits us today. That seed of uh, our intention that is germinating. What do we need more energy for? What's our day hold for us? We plant that seed, intention and energy. That's how we make things grow. That's how we heal. Let's bring the hands now right about the waist. This opens up the lumbar spine. Taking some nice deep breaths. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Let your nose be the filter for any bacteria. There's a new uh, version of COVID going around. So I do a lot of teaching about uh, the breathing, the inhaling and the exhaling through the nose. I personally use the nasal, uh, the uh, mouth strips that keep my breath nasal when I'm sleeping at night. You can pick those up at your local pharmacy or online through any of the uh, online uh, shopping places. And then we're gonna go right into knocking on the door of life. We're opening up the body's organs, getting ready for this day. Front hand knocks on the sides of the body, opening up the liver, opening up the spleen, pancreas. Back hand knocks on the kidneys, opening up the kidney chi. The kidneys are the body's batteries. The human body is a battery and the kidneys store that energy. So when we invigorate the kidneys, we invigorate our body's energy. Take it some nice deep breaths. Now let's make a light fist and knock right below the collarbones. This opens up the lungs. The lung chi, the lungs in Chinese medicine are the commanders of chi. Have a good knock here. That weight shift continues, opening up the quad. When we open up the quad, we stretch out our psoas muscles. P-S-O-A-S. -S. Check that out on, online, on the internet. The psoas muscles are one of the most important muscle groups in the body. It's the only muscle group that wraps around the spine. It wraps around the lumbar. And I have personal experience with uh, a psoas muscle uh, that atrophied during my bone marrow transplant from leukemia. I had a psoas in my right leg that atrophied because I was bedridden for six weeks uh, in isolation at the City of Hope, going through my bone marrow transplant to heal from a very rare form of acute myeloid leukemia. It took me about a year to learn how to walk normally because my right psoas muscle had atrophied. So <clears throat> this wide leg stance really works with strengthening our psoas. A lot of good things with Qigong. It's changed my life, helped save my life. Let's bring the knocking back down. And then let's swim in the energy. We're swimming in light. Here it is, it's a beautiful morning. The sun is just coming up 
over the eastern horizon here in Northern California, wherever you are in this world. I call this a morning Qigong for uh, more energy routine, but you can use this class anytime you need more energy. You want to turbocharge your chi, you're going out to do a bike ride, you're going for a long run, do a little bit of this, this routine. This isn't a very long routine. You can shorten it up. So we're swimming in light, all the forms of light. When we think of light, we think about visible light, but that's a very small spectrum of light. You have microwave, you have radio wave, you have ultraviolet, which is why it's very important to wear sunscreen um, because of the ultraviolet rays that can damage your skin. Let's slow the movement down, let's move through honey. When we slow the movement down, the mind quiets. We have a cone. There are Taoist cones, just like there are Buddhist cones. And one of our Taoist cones is when the mind is still, the universe surrenders. When the mind is still, the universe surrenders. So as you move in honey, notice how your mind is quieting. When the mind quiets, the chi starts to assert itself in a more powerful way. So just notice that. And then we come to surrender hands and notice how your body feels. Now, if you find that your feet are getting a little stagnant here, a little bit of tiredness in your feet, you can come out of the wide leg posture, kick your feet around a little bit, get, get the blood and the chi moving, then come back into the wide leg posture for the next exercise. So this next exercise is gonna really work with our joints and opening up the body for more energy. Spinal cord breathing. We make a light fist with our hands and just rest our hands on our thighs. And this is the start position for spinal cord breathing. Taking a nice deep inhale, opening up, really stretching out. Get as much air as you can in your lungs. A little bit of an arch to your back. And then as you exhale, come down into that squat. We're, we're going to come down into a turtle after we're done with this exercise. And we're in this squat right here like a turtle. And then we inhale as we come back up. Nice deep breath. Exhale as you come down, squeezing your abs, tucking in your chin, squeezing the abs, and then come up. Just get into your own flow here for a bit. Just doing this for a bit, feeling your joints. We're silkening the joints using that magical fluid that actually does, it is a fluid, it's synovial fluid. And now, wherever you are in this flow, we're gonna twist. If you're mirroring me, you're gonna twist to your left leg as you come up. And in this wide leg posture, notice that opening in your hips, in your uh, quad, and in your rib cage, your low back, and then we exhale and come back to center and down, squeezing, getting rid of carbon dioxide, excess. Inhale, twist to the other leg, back and forth at your own pace. Going with the flow of your breath. Inhaling as we twist and open. Feeling the stretch. Exhale as we come down and squeeze. We're also massaging all of our internal organs when we squeeze at the bottom of the exhale. Let's do two more and then we're going to end up in the turtle. The turtle squatting posture. Inhale. Twist and open, exhale, come back down, squeezing. Last one, inhale, twist and open. And now as we come back to center, unclench the fist and just float the hands gently down the front of the body, letting gravity, that force of gravity, the mysterious force of gravity that even Einstein 
really didn't understand how gravity all worked. But it's here and it's taking over the energy in your hands. So a couple of nice deep breaths, really notice that energy as you come down, how it increases the energy of your hands. And then we're gonna come down into the turtle, making, coming back to that light fist. We're keeping our uh, glutes activated, feeling the stretch in the hamstrings, tucking in the chin, and taking some nice deep breaths here. Chin's tucked in, your glutes are activated, your buttocks is in the air, you may feel your body shake a little bit. That's normal. That's the chi moving through all of those muscles, tendons, and ligaments in the legs. Powering up the energy of your lower body in your legs. So a little bit of shaking is normal here. We won't stay here too long. When I teach class, I say, yeah, we'll stay here for about 10 minutes, that's all. And uh, usually I get a couple of laughs out of that. And as, as soon as I get a laugh, sometimes it's only me that's laughing, <laughs> it's time to come out. So as we come out of the turtle, it's really important uh, to go with really slow. So we unclench the fists and we slowly come up to surrender hands. Nice and slow tall erect spine, adjust your feet to keep that wide leg posture, and notice how your body feels. All right, so we just did the turtle, that's the turtle. I love to do that in Hawaii when I'm vacationing in Hawaii. So we're gonna stay with the turtle theme, and this is called uh, turtle waves. So we place our hands, we're still in the wide leg posture, and we're gonna start with the turtle at the surface of the water, surface of the ocean, looking up, taking a nice deep breath. And then as we exhale, we come down, supporting ourselves with our palms of our hands on our thighs. At the bottom of the exhale, we tuck in the chin and we slowly come up, keeping the chin tucked in. And then it's like our turtle heads pop above the waves. We grab another breath of fresh air, nice deep breath, exhale, come down. Tucking in the chin at the bottom. This really works the 33 discs of the spine, lubricating them with synovial fluid, turbocharging the energy of the spine. 80% of our nervous system is somewhere in our spinal column. We're activating our nervous system. Let's do two more. Nice deep breath, heads above the water. Exhale, come down. Tuck in the chin at the bottom. Inhaling, keeping the chin tucked in. Last one. Head pops up above the waves. Exhale, come down. Inhale, come up to surrender hands. And notice how your body feels. So now we're gonna do that the opposite way. We're gonna start, again, hands on our thighs to support. Tuck in our chin, take a nice deep breath. And then we're gonna come down, exhaling down, keeping the chin tucked in. At the bottom of the exhale, we inhale. Head pops up, come all the way up, pop up above the water. Tuck in the chin, come down, keep the chin tucked in till we get to the bottom of the exhale. We're in that squat, and then our head comes up. Inhaling, let's just flow with this for several more repetitions. balances the energy in the spinal column. Spinal column, 33 discs, joints. Let's do two more. So wherever you are in the flow, two more. Tucking in the chin. 
exhaling as you come down, inhaling, rising up, last one, nice deep breath, top of the inhale, exhale, tuck in the chin, keep the exhale going, squeezing out the air, and then we inhale up to surrender hands. And notice how your body feels. So those are the turtles. Let's shake out our feet again, keeping the chi in the blood. Where the chi flows, the blood follows. So this is the last of our uh, Qigong, morning Qigong for more energy exercises. This is called moving like a river. And just on the other side of my fence here in my Zen garden, is the American River and the American River Parkway. It's one of my favorite nature hikes. I love to do Qigong by the river itself, but I'm very close to the river. All right, so moving the body like a river. So we're in our wide leg posture. Our hands are on our thighs. This is like a baseball player fielder position. And we're just going to weight shift back and forth, weight shifting. We're stretching out those muscles in the quad, muscles on the insides of the thighs, the psoas. And now let's add the head movement. So now we're moving the body like a river. The head back and forth. Just taking some nice deep breaths here. There is no breath coordination with this exercise. Just flow with it. Now let's add the arm positions. So now it's like our hands are rudders steering us toward the center of the river, avoiding the rocks, trying to keep us in the center of the river as we flow through our day, as we flow through our life. Just nice flowing breathing, deep breathing here, that weight shift, opening the claw, strengthening our balance with our legs and flowing down the center of the river. The hands guide us like a rudder, keeping us away from the rocks in the center of the channel as much as possible. And then surrender hands. And notice how the body feels. So we conclude our morning Zen Garden Qigong for more energy by centering in the wide leg posture. If you're mirroring me, you take your left hand palm up at the waist, right hand out to gather the energy. So we take a nice deep inhale as we weight shift toward that right leg, inhaling, gathering the chi that we have cultivated, exhaling, and we bring that energy right down through the central channel that central part, the thrusting channel of our bodies, connecting the three treasures. And then palm to palm, we condense the energy right here, right at the lower Dantian, the lower treasure, like a little ball of chi, and then flip the palm over. And then we go the other way, a little bit of a weight shift, inhaling, gathering the chi, exhaling it, bringing it down through the thrusting channel, spirit, lotus heart jewel, body, all aligned, condense, palm flips over. Let's do that one more time to each side. Weight shift, inhale, gather, exhale, center, condense, last one, inhale, gather, exhale, Center, condense, turn the palm over, interlace the webbing of the index finger and the thumb, and let's seal the energy, firm pressure, going one direction. Doesn't matter what direction you go, whatever feels normal. Doesn't matter which hand is on the outside. 
whatever feels comfortable. Firm pressure, this seals the energy of our Qigong morning for more energy practice. Then we pause, reverse the hand position, and reverse the direction. So the energy lasts for approximately 12 hours after we do uh, a practice like this. So have your to-do list ready. <laughs> Honey, I've, where's my to-do list? And then pause. Let's bring our feet together. Our hands to prayer position at the Lotus Heart Jewel, our emotional center, bowing our heads with gratitude. Gratitude for the mystery of this life. Quiet, patient, trust, love. Blessings and love to all of you wherever you are, whatever time of day you are doing this practice. Blessings and love. Namaste.